What are the better and worse timelines according to your models? If we define what is good as what is beneficial to the survival of life and what is evil as whatever is harmful or detrimental to that, then it stands to reason that there is a better and a worse possible situation for every individual and for all life collectively at any given moment. And thus, there is a trend implied toward a better or worse possible future for every individual and for all life in general as well. Because life as we know it now does not occur anywhere else outside Earth so far as we are currently aware, this concept of a better and a worse possible timeline is purely applicable to Earth. So the fates of all living beings and the fate of planet Earth are inextricably intertwined. Thus, we can say every living being individually and Earth as a whole in general may conceivably have a better or a worse possible future. But we cannot say this about the solar system, the galaxy, or the universe. Our observation of morality is solely from the perspective of living biological organisms in this case, not that of astrophysics. So if there is a better possible future for Earth and a worse possible future for Earth, and consequently for every living being, what do these look like? Well, for starters, it is very difficult for most people to formulate their own idea of a utopia or ideal society, because the concerns of surviving in the present distract them from idle leisure and contemplation of such philosophical abstracts. As a result of not formulating their own better world for themselves, most civilized people end up accepting the dystopias or worse ideas for society that other, likewise stunted, futurists hand down. However, if one creates a moderately better society in the short term, it can lead to a much better society in the longer term future. This can only be imagined, let alone accomplished, by remaining open-minded to the ideal of a utopia being possible and consulting with others of like mind on the subject about how an ideal society could best be defined. In theory, the ideal utopia in the better future is always equidistant to an equivalent dystopia opposite it in the worst parallel possible timeline. According to the apparent rise and fall of these timelines relative to one another, actually their orbit around one another in a proverbial double helix, there also exists a third possible timeline consisting of the averaging out of these extremes, a mainstream timeline where we all usually exist, in which society is as slow to change as technology is fast, and in which little ever changes about the structure of society, even over the vast aeons of human history. This mainstream timeline acts like a flat spine between the twin better and worse possible timelines that revolve around it, such that the proximity of these parallel dimensional timelines to apparent intersection, seen two-dimensionally, influences the rise and fall of societies, cultures, and technologies in the mainstream timeline. When these parallel timelines appear to converge, there is increased space weather in the solar system, increased climate change on Earth, and increased novelty among people and their artifacts. When these timelines appear to diverge furthest apart, these effects all appear slowed. Thus, this effect may be related to the sunspot cycle, etc. There will always be a better and a worse possible future timeline, 
so long as there remains a mainstream timeline. However, there might not always be a mainstream timeline. In the event the mainstream timeline ends, there may be a delay before the other better and worse timelines are affected by this and end themselves. <laughs>